Hey guys, this video is just a reminder. <clears throat> a lot of times, um, I see people with the little fish stickers on the back of their cars. Uh, the symbolic symbol telling the world that they're a Christian. I don't have any problem with these fish stickers, but I do have a problem whenever I see people with fish stickers lashing out with road rage, flipping off people, uh, yelling, cursing, and just basically looking like everybody else. It's not a problem with the sticker. The problem is with people that claim to be Christians that don't act like Jesus. And I'm the first one to admit that we're, you know, we're not perfect. We all make mistakes. But if we're going to say we're something, if we're going to represent Jesus, then we really need to watch how we're acting toward people. We really need to watch that. I don't know how many times, you know, I have I have been driving and I've seen these little fish stickers and 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 just wondered if the people behind the car are really living up to to what they're representing. And uh, I even thought about getting a fish sticker myself because I love Jesus. And um, then I thought, what if I do mess up one day? What if one day somebody's behind me and they're bumping the horn and you know I don't make the the finger at them. Uh, I certainly don't do that. I used to do it when I was still living like the world, but I don't do that anymore. But uh, actually last week, there was a man, I was at a red light, and there was a man behind me, and <clears throat> it hadn't been maybe two seconds, and I was just sitting there, and the, the light changed, and I didn't see it, but it was like maybe not even two seconds later, the man's just honking his horn, and I look back, and the man's just shaking his head, like he's so important, and like... <clears throat> His life is so much more important than everybody else's and that I'm just this hideous person because I didn't see the light change within a millisecond. So he's sitting there bonking on his horn and I kind of make a weird face in the mirror like, I mean, just like this weird little face. And then I started thinking about it and I'm like, you know, I was wrong for that. I was dead wrong. It didn't matter if the man would have been flipping me off. It didn't matter if the man would have been cursing at me and yelling at his window, screaming, calling me a B word. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. Because you see, when we really become like Jesus, we will not repay evil for evil, but we will overcome every evil with good. In the same way that Jesus did as they were beating him on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for I know not what they do. And so later on that day, I just started thinking, you know, I just started praying for this man that, that he would develop patience. And I started just asking for forgiveness that, that I didn't at least just wave and remain calm and just actually act like Jesus. And at that point, I was glad that I didn't have that little fish sticker. Because anytime we repay evil for evil, we don't, we don't have rights to the fish sticker. <laughs> Anyhow, this is my rant for today. A um, few more thoughts. Uh, the other day I was watching a video by Doug Perry, uh, channel Photom One on YouTube, and he was talking about his trip across the country, and he did some really beautiful things, and went to different churches and prayed with pastors all over the country in like 30-something different states, people that he knew would have disagreed with him. He went and he, he knocked on their door and he prayed with different denominations and it was just a beautiful video I think it's called Doug's Big Trip Around the Country and you can find it on his website but anyhow he was talking about how at one point his truck had his van had broke down and how all these people with fish stickers were passing him up everybody with the fish sticker these nice nice high dollar cars just passing him up and then all of a sudden this group of Mexican men in this beat up truck stop and they offer him a ride and you know they got beer they're drinking beer and I'm just thinking the bitter irony of it all the bitter irony 
the, the people that the Christians I know we can't pick up everybody we see I know that and to tell you the truth I have two young boys and when they're riding with me I don't like picking people up because I don't I don't know but there's still an irony behind it all just an irony that these guys you know with no fish sticker that the, the Christians might even look down upon because they're driving a clunker um, pick them up the other day I heard something actually kind of disturbing that really disturbed me um, wasn't the other day it was like a few years ago but anyhow there's this famous 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 televangelist who was actually who actually was driving along the road one day in his Rolls Royce and he sees somebody in a really beat up car and he's telling his congregation of millions of people on television and the thousands that congregate in his stadium well he's telling them oh I'm thankful for my God my God would never make me drive a car like that and he's sitting there putting down this family with this beat up car and I'm sitting there hurt just hurt that this is what so many of us have become and you can just see the crowd just rolling laughing just sitting there oh that's so funny instead of having mercy on the family that was driving that that car instead of offering to help them out they're sitting there making fun acting like they're more blessed than this family think of the church of La Laosadia okay they were rich but they were really poor blind pitiful and naked the Bible says if we cannot help our neighbor in need if we can't help our brother in need then how can the love of God be in us and what's sad is people are gonna continue to watch this we're gonna soak it in we're gonna suck it in and we're gonna perpetuate the system of injustice anyhow that's my rant for today if you have a fish sticker pray that Jesus will help you to deserve that sticker because if you're flipping people off with that sticker then it's not a good thing it's not the world is watching you you are a light you are a light you are carrying the light of the Most High God within you and you cannot act like the world and this is something that I struggle with sometimes I don't want to look like the world I'm not perfect but the thing is, we've got to be real, and we've got to admit our imperfection, and we've got to stop pretending like we're better than everybody else, because we're not. <sighs> Anyhow, love you guys. That is my rant for the day, and I hope you have a good one.